I'm Sue Morris. I'm Educational Psychology Programme Director at the University of Birmingham. Um, while the 12 Ed Psych training programmes in England probably have far more in common than any differences they have, uh, each programme does have a number of distinctive features. Uh, I won't enumerate all of those at Birmingham, but those which accrediting external bodies have highlighted that we've been particularly pleased about have been the comment about the quality of support, pastoral support, which we offer to our trainees and the responsiveness of tutors to feedback offered by trainees so that feedback demonstrably informs developments to the programme. And a third area that we've been particularly gratified to um, be told about by external parties um, is the quality of relationship which is considered to exist between the programme and placement providers within the West Midlands, which ensures curriculum coherence and consistency of support and expectations between the university and the placement settings. Hi, my name is Tom Hughes. Uh, I joined uh, Birmingham in 2010 on the 2010 to 2013 cohort for the professional doctorate in educational psychology. Um, I joined from a background in business consulting, so a, a slightly different background, um, and joined a, a group of quite varied um, peers and colleagues into that cohort who had come from, some from teaching roles, some from non-teaching roles, um, some graduate psychologists. So uh, uh, I've just qualified. I'm now a newly qualified educational psychologist working in Cambridgeshire. So I, I guess returning to university after a bit of a break, I certainly appreciated the, um, the, the psychology, if you like, returning to psychology in the centre of excellence, if you like, that Birmingham is. Um, I think contrary to some of the universities or uh, around the country, I, I think there's a breadth of curriculum and content that's delivered in Birmingham that, that I certainly appreciated. And I feel that, that here we don't rely on, um, Birmingham doesn't rely on a single psychological paradigm or theory. So I enjoyed the range of opportunities, if you like, and, and certainly sense that that has helped my practice that... Um, I've got experience and exposure to a range of areas that are important for our practice. So I felt the curriculum in Birmingham was well considered, well constructed and, and really relied on um, three main areas, certainly in my experience. It was firstly um, grounded in practice, so um, many of the folks that came in and talked to us here were working professionals, if you like, so it's grounded in relevance to our profession. We also benefited from um, exposure to a number of experts across fields, uh, but particularly within the university, so experts in psychology, education, um, research, sociology, I remember we did some work around, so having access to all those um, professionals really helped. And then thirdly, the, the course is open to influence from us as trainees, and there were various points through the three years when we were able to sh shape the um, content and what we felt would be helpful for our practice as we move forward. So my view is that another one of the strengths of the programme is the links that um, the uh, team here have with the local authorities in the region. So as a professional doctorate, it's really important to ground um, the work with the academic work we're doing in in services around the country. And um, there are stressful elements of the course in terms of securing placements and jobs at the end of it. Um, and the uh, links that the team here have with local authorities really and help us through those important transitions. And my view is that the um, frequency with which ex-trainees or uh, educational psychologists locally or principal ed educational psychologists locally are in the university supporting delivery of the programme really speaks to the high esteem within which they um, view the programme and, and the trainees that are working within it. Um, my name is Anita Soni. I work here at the University of Birmingham as a tutor on the educational psychology course. Um, I also work in schools in the local area and children's centres. Uh, my, my role is, um, amongst other things, is to work within the tutor team 
to involve parents as service users. We've done this in a couple of different ways. Firstly, we've now involved parents in the selection process and they do a short activity on their recruitment day. And we've also involved parents in the teaching um, by doing role plays with the students and helping the students reflect upon their practice with parents and how parents may feel in an interaction with an educational psychologist. Hi, um, Nikki Reeves. I'm a parent to a little boy called Danny. He's nine. He has uh, Down syndrome and uh, lots of other bits that go with it. Um, I am part of a community interest company called Signpost Inclusion. We support families who've got children with additional needs in our local area um, by way of support groups and activities that we offer to the family. Um, the reason that I've got involved with this project is that I think it's really important that students get an idea of um, how it feels from a, a parent's perspective, from a family's perspective when they go in to see them. Um, so it's a really good opportunity and we're really glad to be involved in it. Hi, I'm Tony Abbotson and I'm one of the directors of Sign Post Inclusion. And we first started working with Anita Sony uh, through a programme called Early Support and that runs a series of workshops that helps uh, families who have children with disabilities and additional needs. And we think it's important to support the um, students to understand the impact that they can have on a family and how communicating with the family properly and empathising with them can really help the process and the relationship that they have with that family.